So we're talking about the Motorola Bionic. We are talking about episode 12, Dad Don Tech, the Motorola Bionic. Now this um, looks like a very interesting phone. It, it, it's a good looking phone. Very I cool. like it. So let's talk about it. Talk about it. Let's go. All right, so run down the Motorola Bionic stats. Give us a, a laydown of the land. So the, the, the laydown here is it's a QHD display. All right, so it's a nice, sharp display, rich display. It's running on, on AT&T, I'm sorry, <laughs> Verizon's uh, uh, LTE network. Mm -hmm. um, it's 300 bucks, so it's a little expensive, and it's running Android 2, 3, 4. Uh, it's a 4.3-inch display. It has an 8-megapixel camera. It will shoot 1080p, which is pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. Um, has a front-facing camera, which is real nice, and it's a one gigahertz dual-core CPU, which is really, really okay. Yeah. So uh, for me, uh, these are my pros, right? So uh, the Verizon LTE network, Verizon sent us a, a couple of phones. This is one of them. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I love the LTE 4G Verizon uh, yeah. network. So that's that's an A plus, especially in the New York I City area. I absolutely. Um, agree. Four point three sc uh, inch screen is v is big, nice and nice mm -hmm. and large. You can have plenty of room to play around, especially with games and uh, you know browsing the web, checking email, watching videos. Fantastic, and of course it comes with the uh, the uh, an Atrix type dock. It's not the same, but it, yeah. it has an option. That's right. So that's, that's kind like of a pro a, and a con. That's like a pro and a right? con. You know, we, we can get to the con later, but 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 definitely go ahead, go ahead. And uh, we we talk about what else. We, um, hotspot, hotspot, mobile hotspot. That's pretty cool. Now look, on 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 Verizon's LTE network, the hotspot, super fast. Yeah, a lot of people say that that um, every phone can be in hotspot, but when you're on yeah. a super fast L LTE network, mm -hmm. that is a pro. You know, it's not yeah, just an option; massive, it's just a so pro or feature, I should say. Pro. Um, and it, it uses this. Uh, I didn't get an, uh, get to play around with ZumoCast, uh, uh, but uh, but basically, it's kind of like a Dropbox. You can put the your stuff at home and and access it uh, over the network. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what else? It's got front and back cameras, which is kind of more and yeah. more prevalent. But it is definitely a feature. It really is. It really is. I mean, having a front-facing camera is definitely important. I mean, I, I know you and I, when it comes to our families, we have we have iPhones right. and we use FaceTime to speak to our families through there, and it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. It really is. I like it a lot. So it's really nice to see other manufacturer, other OEMs coming out with uh, with front-facing cameras as well. So lay down some of the um, cons. Yeah. So for me, my, my my real big con here is the fact that, um, it, like I said before, it has an Atrix style docking. Ability. Let's just call right. it that, or, or function. Let's just call it that. But unfortunately, um, you have to purchase a separate laptop dock. So uh, I mean, um, which is ridiculous. No, it, it really is. I mean, I, I have the Atrix and I have the laptop dock, but I can't use the Bionic and plug it into that laptop dock, right. um, which I think is kind of silly. So I make think it universal. Come on, Motorola. Yeah, you got a great product I, I there. I would say make it universal because you know I've already invested. I forget how much how much the, the laptop dock the, the laptop dock costs, right. but I think it's about three hundred bucks, four hundred bucks. Like so it's it's not cheap, right. right? So I'm already made an investment with this thing. Um, so give me any other phone that comes out from Motorola, make it adaptable to to that dock. Right. But did it do this? And time. for the same, I guess it's got a, it's a little expensive, right? Because of that, it's yeah, kind of option it is. Fee, option rich, and um, it is. And then uh, the battery life. So, so. Yeah, but you know what, though? I mean, I wasn't really surprised that the battery life wasn't that great on this phone, right? Because right? we're, we're talking about an LTE radio in there right. now, right? And I think traditionally that radio has been sucking power. Absolutely. And, and it's just not Verizon. It's just not the, the Motorola. It's it's any any handset across the board that sits on this 4G network, whether it's you know, um, AT&T, Verizon, or even T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, just one of those things. And, and until they come up with better battery technology to fight that, you're going to have issues with battery life on any smartphone. Sounds good to me. And, and of course, like Motoblur, not a great big fan, but it is what it you is. Know, and I, yeah, we, we, I, I don't think you and I have ever been big fans of Motoblur. Yeah. Um, it's just not a it's not a pretty interface. It's not user friendly interface either. So, 
that that saying. And um, and I think you made this point one time also, Zev. That's the fact that it's it, it's a one gigahertz dual core processor, right. but there are phones out there today that have one point five and even two. Right. So it's so it's kind of trailing, so, but uh, yeah. yeah, a little bit, a little yeah. bit. But you know, you can also make the argument to say, okay, you know, what average person is going to be using that two gigahertz? Uh, um, uh, C- a CPU or the 1.5 CPU, right. and, and that's a good argument. You're absolutely right. Um, I, I, I don't know, but um, but we're just saying that if you know if the if you're going to stay on the cutting edge of technology, then one is not the cutting edge. 2.0 is. Right. But so you hear it I here. Know. So what do we have? Three remotes for this bad boy. I say three. Very good. I say three. It's a good phone. If you're out in the market looking for a Motorola phone that does that does uh, has a set, a set of nice features that you can drop it on a, an LTE network like Verizon's, go give it a shot. All right. Well, yes, we'll speak to you next time then. Got it. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here.